Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Jai Hamid and I'm here today. Uh, welcome and today today's book is Black Beauty by Anna Swan and this is seven and this is uh, her only book and this is written in the last year of her life. She couldn't write more than one or two lines a day so she dedicated to her mother to write and she was born she was born in 1920 1820 and died in 1858 which is not i mean 1878 she died in 1878 and that was the year which black beauty was published and you know it was just like before a few weeks before her death Black Beauty is published on like this book you know. This it's it's genre as you know, it's fiction, of course, and it's uh, sub genre is realistic fiction. Because there are all real things, not a horse with a puppy head and a um, <laughs> four language walks and on four. So that's why it's realistic fiction. Because they look real but they are not. Anyway, so let's start the story. Black Beauty is uh, you know, in, the, in uh, this table, when, you know, the first place where he was born, it was very pretty with very kindness, and in the second place, it's also pretty with kindness, but then, then the tough time, a bit hard time, and then, you know, it's all ended good, and Black Beauty narrates the story. I'm not gonna tell it in his words, because it's gonna be very confusing. Okay, so, um, the story starts as he, as he lived on a farm with his mother, you know, on this farm, there a there a person on it, and the person he was very good and kind hearted and good to horses, not one of those. Okay, 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 okay. I know, I know, I know. Let me explain the type of people who own horses. I mean, the people who are there. One is who treats horses with very good manners, who doesn't, you know, pull the bit very uh, the bit. Okay, I'm gonna talk about bits. The different type of bits. They are gag bits, and, um, uh, rain bits, and other bits. There are many types of bits. And uh, some hurt a lot and some do not hurt. So he's not one of them who use those very bad bits or he pull the bit very hard. I feel like something has been, you know, hitting the uh, uh, mouth. And, you know, most mm, horses, they have tender and soft mouths. And those who don't have, they still feel it. So that's the problem with bits. I don't know why bits were invented. Okay, they were invented for a reason, not to make the horse go wild. So the other type of person who is very vain and doesn't, you know, he uses the whip as hard as he can if, you know, it's not leaping over a fence or something like that. And then he's gonna pull the bit very hard and it's almost falling down. And you can't imagine what unbearable pain is. So after he was four years old, he was sold to Brit 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 Hall. Brit Wick Hall or Brit Wick Hall or should that be area or not. But okay, uh, it is Brit Wick Hall. Then over there it's uh, as good as the first farm. And it wasn't, you know, not bad. There's not any ill mannered and, you know, people who in ill mannered houses. And the person who owned this, uh, owned the place is. Uh, Squitter Garden, who is uh, not one of those ill mannered people who treats horses badly, and the person who looks after the horse is called the groom. And his, uh, he was John Man. He's one of my favorite characters in the story, basically. You know why? Because he treats horses with very good care, and not one of those ill tempered people like Reuben Smith. Okay, he was drunk, so that's exception. So then. Um, you know, he lives under this custody for three years, which is a very jolly good life for him because he wasn't uh, treated very bad. And he was under this place for three years, and you know, uh, with three, uh, with two other horses, which was Marilex, a good fat pony who was kind tempered and uh, not so short tempered and had a very good nature, like Black Beauty, because they were, uh, when he was a young colt, they were other. Um, course on the farm, seven of them or nine of them, who used to bite and kick and throw. And once Black Beauty's mother told Black Beauty that he should not uh, ever bite and kick because that makes him an ill mannered horse and a very bad horse who doesn't have any manners. So his name was Black Beauty, he got it from Square Garden. So he was not called Black Beauty again. And when he goes in the other farms, he's not called Black Beauty, of course. 
Now, after that, uh, as I was talking about, that is a very important matter. So, um, you know, after um, I told you that is a very important matter that having a master depends a lot. That is a very important matter. And the other important matter which I was talking about, the horse. He also has to, you know, one of his ill-mannered horse. And like that, oh, and everybody, you know, some mm, ill-mannered people are fit to ill-mannered horses because they are also ill-mannered horses of bite, snap, and kick, and this, and do, and this, and that. But a kind and tender and soft horse with an ill-mannered man, of course, think about it. Think, have some sympathy. And, uh, you know, mm, the horse, they have these bits that could not look at your right side, uh, not look at your left side. Uh, it was horrible at that time. And then, as I tell you, uh, it was uh, a very good, it was a really big matter that uh, a master depends on you. A matter, a master depends on you because, you know, he has to be, there has to be two types of master. So, the other horse, who was at Brickwood Park was Ginger and this was this mare who was very vain and bad because uh, you know she was under a very cruel owner and then she used to bite, snap, kick and just you know mm, come and bite everybody and then you know she was a very bad horse and I can't tell you how bad she was so that's why but under because but she was in Brickwood Park that meant that he was under the tiny tree for the square garden and John man And that meant that he wouldn't have been fighting and kicking and snapping and doing this and that for a bit of time. And uh, so after that, when he lived for three years, and he's also the apprentice woman, Dick Rick Park, his name is Jovi, who, you know, I'm gonna, uh, who gets united, reunited with Blackie at the of the novel. So then uh, the, he, he, um, I mean Black Beauty uh, sold to the Earl of the uh, Ashall Park and Ginger is also sold and uh, Mary Legs is sold to the Vicar on only this contract that he, if he, when he was past the retirement with him walking and was too old he wouldn't be sold. He would have been shot instead of sold. Okay, so I want to tell very important thing over here that uh, as he moves on, he finds that uh, he finds the circumstances a horse that he will use, like to uh, you know uh, the bearing rain in the hotel is a very bad part. The bearing rain is a very short grain, uh, I mean a short bit, and it is really painful. So when he is told to Mr. York, uh, he is not a bad man, but he is too weak to stand up for. Okay, he is a good man. He also intends the best to black me. So, uh, after that, as you know, after he is uh, at Elsha Park, he, um, the black beauty, uh, I must now talk about Reuben Smith because until we move on to the next chapter, Reuben Smith is a very important part of it. Not important, but it, it should be some of the essential because uh, it should make the cut in black beauty. Okay, so uh, that when Mr. York went away to London, you know, there was some time and, and you know, he had to hire somebody and uh, he hired a very good person and the very bad problem was that he was an actor. That is the very bad fault for alcohol, you know. They're not getting the sense for all. Sometimes even case in the case of Animal Farm when Mr. Jones was drunk for one day and I didn't want to do that. And he didn't want to repeat the, the Animal Farm episode. But this case was even worse. It was even worse than Animal Farm where the animals were stopped. But this was even worse. This, this accident was worse that they damaged to Ruben Smith and also to Black Beauty. And then one day he goes to the White Inn and then over there he gives Black Beauty uh, feeding and then the horse lad, he takes the name, which is, you know, to the horseshoe. 
I got it. So when he goes away, Ruben Smith, then he'll say, "I'm gonna come at six. He comes at nine, and then he's very bad. But he rides black movie home, and then the rules come out, and then uh, you know, if he was sensible man, he wouldn't be drunk. Then you would know about." It. But he was so drunk, he made Black Beauty run over the fresh stone and even whip. So he he could go home even more harder. So at last, Black Beauty's rules were split and knees were broken in the sad accident. And then he threw Ruben off and uh, he went out and he was also dead. That was dead. So after this, you know, now there a, he is thinking, you see, oh, but now he should sell Black Beauty because Black Beauty isn't, uh, you know, fit because, you know, his legs get so good. Then he gets sold to another person and, you know, he has two groups uh, who look after the horses, who are like the horses look them. So he employs a lady to clean the chair and, you know, he used to clean and wash the stables, do anything he could want and, you know, he wasn't the best groom you could ever see because, you know, um, he used to do some stealing because each day the oats and the corn and the uh, meals, they all couldn't be uh, farm and then he wasn't fed properly. Well, if Black Beauty could talk to him, the master, Mr. Uh, the master, so mm, he could have known that what Fletcher is doing. A boy, Fletcher's son and him, they go and they get the oats from a sack full and they run away. Now this is called robbery. And now, uh, after this robbery, a policeman got them and you know, two months, uh, two, two months in jail for Fletcher. Now, uh, his master, Black Beauty Master, want to find another room who can fit to a group and that room okay, okay okay I know I know I know you know uh, I might say he was a humbug okay and his name was Alfred Smith and he was also you know first Fletcher Z Black Beauty and his master and then Alfred Smith he used to lie to the master because he didn't used to give Black Beauty an exercise so that's why his feet got a lot of tender and bad and then, if a meal of bar or corn or a green meat would be given, he still have the, would have been cooled down. But no, Alfred Smith didn't give him. And then he was just given these horse drops and this really bad liquid. And that caused a, a lot of pain. So, uh, Alfred Smith was again dismissed in a day and then they found out what was happening until after some help was agreed to call and run, then he was fine, Black Beauty. But uh, uh, his master being very um, depressed by the way he was deceived by both of the Fletcher and Alfred Smith, he decided to give up getting the horse. So then he sold it and now we are coming to the, um, we are almost coming to the end. He sells it to uh, this guy named, uh, okay, his name was something else, it was Jeremiah Barker, but uh, you know, everybody called him Jerry, so I am other one of Jerry Barker. So Jerry Barker and his family, they were all, you know, very good people, and you know, they keep they kept horses uh, very good, even because they already had another horse, like Captain, and he was, you know, I know why he was named Captain instead of any other name like Mary, like the things. Like, you know why? I want to tell you. Big horse. He was a cavalry horse, and his first master was in the Crimean War. And then one day, Captain loses his master, and somebody else comes on him. And then after that, he becomes very old when it comes to Jerry Barker. And they too, but the cat, Black Beauty, and old oh, cat. So one day, you know, we find out uh, the captain had been really badly wounded. You know why? Because, you know, there was this guy coming with some cars. There was this guy who was really drunk, immensely drunk. And then he gay and the horses ran, ran over a girl. And then it ran over, uh, crashed the cat. And Jerry Barker was, you know, just really bruised. But captain, oh no, I don't. You don't want to hear about it. I want to. Okay, I'll just say this in that way. Okay, he was really bleeding and got really bad. And then when he came home, he was really bruised and wounded. And then, you know, of course, you know what they do. You don't want to hear about it, but I know. I know, my friends, why a lot of 
um, researching the what happened to a horse and all the time and they were the, when they got ill or something like that or when they got old past their time of course everybody knows what happened a bullet is shot through them in the heart or somewhere so they get dead and all their troubles are over that's what everybody does so that's what happened to Captain. That's the thing uh, which happens to Captain. And which the thing I don't like in the story was this. Uh, in the story, there's a lot of cruelty to horses. And as you see, uh, most scenes over there, there are very gruesome scenes. Their horses are treated that badly. But anyway, Black Beauty was a lucky horse. He was not one of those horses who got treated so badly, like Ginger, and who, uh, whenever a human came, even a kind human, kick any one motto in their head kick bite scratch that is the only motto because uh, they have been treated so badly i think that was in the book kick bite scratch and you know some and another way of you know the horses are uh, you know they send them to the knacker which is even a worse way to kill a horse because you know what uh, i thought it was better than uh, to horse to live as much as long as he if, yeah, like, if he has to live 20 years and die the day to 20 years, naturally, that's better instead of doing this. And then send him to the neck. This is a place for horse slaughter. And then they boil the horse down. And that's, you know, another gruesome. Now, why do people do like that? I don't know. But people do, you know, feel some sympathy for the horses. And that's why they shoot the bullet through them. So all the troubles are over. Oh, I think that. And at last, at the end of the novel, Black Beauty gets, uh, okay, first Black Beauty passed away with Jerry Barker because of ill health. And at last, um, Black Beauty gets reunited when he's uh, old, not very old, not extremely old. She gets reunited with Joe Green, the athletic group at Britwick Hall. And that is the end of Black Beauty's story because Black Beauty is, you know, he has no troubles and he is, all of his troubles are over. And, there, and Black Beauty has been promised. That he wants to soul, even if he's past his life. Then he might live for more than 20 years on. If he's uh, staying over here and he's really good team. But he won't be soul. That is the end of Black Beauty Troubles. And that is the end of Black Beauty Story. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, I give this book a 5 by 5 of Saul's continuity. It's a really good book. And, yes, I recommend this book. This is a really good book to read. Uh, it's a really good horse book to read. I like it a lot immensely. So, in the comments below, you can also tell how you like this book. And so, this is all for today. And if you want to see more videos, go to the website, gmail.com, or even log into my Facebook page. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'll give you feedback. Allah.